Hello, hi everyone. Shalom, what do you want to do? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? All right. So, I'm My Rose Jam Essentials, and welcome to my channel. I'm the owner of My Rose Jam Essentials, and if you ever want to send me something or send it private, you can send it here to the post office box, My Rose Jam Essentials. Post Office Box 154, Summit, Illinois, 60501. Okay, you all. So the last I left off, I left off on um, Libra. Le no, I was doing uh, air signs. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Aquarius, Gemini. So, okay, so I'm going to do Libra now. All right, so I just want to... Uh, be all hey y'all thank you for my new subscribers i see i have some new subscribers now and congratulations to one of you all one of you all see have a channel congratulations to your channel betty tarot congratulations and thank you for subscribing for your support thank you we have to support each other and i will support you also as well thank you i can't wait to go to your channel i appreciate it so much all right, thank you, because it's two Bettys. I don't know if y'all the same Bettys or one Betty, because one said both of them said Betty Terra, Betty Terra. So either way it go, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to get started with uh, Libra. Okay, Libra. All right, let me see. Let me hold this right, this right. Okay, I have to push the camera back. Okay, you all, as you all usually know, I do the um, readings past, present, and future, your your overall energy, then past, present, and what's headed for you a little bit down the future. But this is not what I'm doing now. This one is, the this reading is, is, is uh, it's called a Celtic Cross. So I'm going to do the inner world, what's going on, you want to know what's going on inside of you, and what's going on around you. So that's the type of reading I'm going to do for you now, a Celtic Cross. Then down the line, I'm going to switch it up with some more, but for this way y'all be patient with me because i keep my notes this is a whole different this is a whole new setup you all okay so i have another reading for you all later down the line but that's just left five cards okay so anyway we, we uh, everybody seems to like this one so we, I, i'm gonna stick with this one for a minute okay all right and um, and um, thank you youtube thank you too buddy all right so i'm gonna do the celtic cross let me take my crystals off because y'all see i like to keep my crystals on my cards you see there all right citrine rose quartz tiger's eye oh. all right all right you all Woo. all right all right how so how y'all doing out there i hope you're all doing great all right thank you let's see let's get started I have my notes too because I have some more notes on you all Libras and also I think I told you all it's about seven signs that's good that's going to be great for the next seven months and I, 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 I'm I constantly saying this with this solar eclipse the solar eclipse is great for some of you all for uh well I have, I have my notes I'll wait till I finish with it yeah because uh the notes let me look at it mm -hmm. Yeah, because these signs I keep saying, and I want to make sure I have them because. Uh oh, just a second. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. There he is, right there. All right. All right. It's eight signs. Serious. It's eight signs. Okay. And I got that one. That. And then I need another marker page. One second. A marker. I need a marker page. Wait a minute, you all, because I want to make sure I get this marker page. I don't want to tell y'all anything wrong. Okay, there we go. All right, so let me put a, what you call them things in there. Okay, one of them, 
book holders, bookmark. Okay, because I have all the signs and I also have some other notes too. All right, okay, but the solar eclipse. Let me see what that one looks like. Because there's something else going to happen. Um, so I want you all to be informed. Okay, we have the Venus retrograde. I have that one. I know that one. That's what since my uh, North Node. Okay, the North Node. Oh, the last page. All right, there we go. All right. So now I have all my bookmarks. All right, you all. So I would like to keep my notes. So I don't want to. <laughs> I won't have it. All right. So we're going to do. Hold on a second. Hold on one second. Just one second. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. One minute. Okay, we're talking about all these chakras. So I'm going to see what's going on with y'all inner world right here. And then what's going on with you all around you all, okay? So all y'all can make sure y'all have that clear, okay? All right then. That's what I'm doing, Libras. So make sure y'all have it done. All right. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Celtic Cross. I'm doing a Celtic Cross. So what's going on for the Libras out there? Have all my crystals. I hope you all been getting some crystals. All of my subscribers, rosebuds. I call my subscribers rosebuds. Rosebuds. Gloomy. Y'all constantly growing. Constantly growing. Thank you. What's going on for the Libras? The wonderful Libras. What do we have for the Libras? Okay, now we're doing a Celtic cross. This is different, so let me put it down. Okay. Okay. All right, Libras. Okay. So we're going to see what's going on with the inner you. What's going on with the inner, your inner consciousness. We're going to see what's going on with your inner consciousness. Okay. And then we're going to see what's going on with your psyche and then what's going on around you. So this is this your inner conscious. Let's see what's going on with your inner conscious. Number one. Let me pull the card because I have to cross it. This is <laughs> I'm trying, I can't show it to you. I'm trying to pick it up. Wait a minute. Okay, because one is a certain way it crosses. All right. Okay, what crosses you? This is you. Page of Cups. All right. You constantly have that. You cause this is the Page of Cups. This is what's going on. Okay, you are doing work. Okay, so this is what's, what's going on. You constantly have that um, you a new feeling of a new quality of a, a quality of a new relationship, and you also have that quality of that inner child. You constantly have that, so you're getting ready to create a new relationship, and it's just in process right now, right now. Okay, that's what's in the higher conscious of you right now. All right. Okay, 
So I just want to make sure you all see it. All right. Because now I got to get the one that crosses you. So that's good, Libras, that you all have that inner child in y'all all the time. So y'all should always constantly be able to create. Because, you know, Libras are very highly intelligent, highly intelligent. And society will bag you up all the time. So that's great. So you're, you, you already can feel that inner. You have a feeling already that it's a new relationship on the way. So some of you all already know that it's it, whoever it doesn't resonate, it may not resonate with all of you all. But somebody has a feeling of a new relationship coming on and you constantly have that inner child around you. So you have that going for you in the vibration and you're also intelligent. So that's great. So constantly keep that and you can feel your emotions. You can feel the emotions. You just, just feel that that's it's a new relationship and you can feel it's in the process of it right now. That's what's in your higher conscious. Okay, what crosses you? Number two. What crosses you is uh, uh, achievement, success, determination, and everything in new beginnings. That's what crosses you. <laughs> Way to go, Libras. Okay, number three. What is your goal? Number three. What is your goal? Ooh. Libras, okay. Your goal is to stop feeling this way. Your goal is you're tired of feeling so. You have this, like, I'm tired of this, like, anxiety, post-traumatic stress, just post-traumatic stress, anxiety, depression, whatever it is. You're just tired of feeling this way. So either, you know, I don't know what you do to lift your mood, lift your mood, lift your mood. I would say um, listen to some music or get your vibrations up. But your goal is to your goal is to stop feeling this way. You're pissed off. You're tired of feeling this way. It's like you can feel too many people's stuff and you're tired of it. That's your goal. Usually I would say this, but you're tired of you tired of that way. Okay. Number four. Your lower self is feeling like uh, you need to move a class and you're not moving the way you want. You're not moving the way you want. And you know you're supposed to be moving in a better way because you have a calling to do and you have things to do. And it's a calling for you to do different things. And you know that. So you're tired of feeling so... Uh, tactless you know you're tired of feeling like lower class you're tired of this you're ready for the higher class so you like come on okay what's number five what's behind you release okay so you have a page of so uh, a page of swords what's behind you is that you need to constantly, constantly work on your mental powers. That's what's behind you. What's behind you is that you constantly need to work on your mental powers. And that's what you're working on. What's behind you is that that's behind me. Because I'm working on my mental powers. I'm working on what I know I need to work with. I know what I can do. I don't know what you heard. I don't know. I don't know what you didn't hear. But I'm working with what I'm supposed to. So you, that's 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 you, Leos, and, and and society will back you up behind it. Number six, what's to manifest before you? What's to manifest before you is traveling, and you know you can do it. So you're getting ready to go on some trips. That's what you're manifesting. And, and and it's manifesting. And that's what that's getting ready to manifest for you. You're getting ready to go on a trip. And you know it. Okay. All right. Now let's see what's going on in your outer world. Well, I was showing you all there. Your outer world. Let's see what's going on around you. Okay. 
Number seven. So someone around you, someone around you is a um. Someone around you is a, a Scorpio, a Scorpio Cancer, a Scorpio Cancer or a Pisces. And this person, you go get your, you go discuss your, um, like bounce ideas off of. So like, you're like, yeah, uh, you know, you know, you know about this. You heard about this. What you think about this? Hey, you, you know, so this is a, this is a great person that you, that's around you. This is a very great, a gr very great person. And this person looks like they want to marry you soon. Um, Libra, they want to marry you soon. <laughs> so keep up the good work, Libra. This is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And they're looking to marry you soon, Libra. So keep up the good work. <laughs> That's all I can say. Keep up the good work. That's around you. That's what's going on around you. All right. Good for you. Mm -hmm. You're optimistic. And people around you, you won't. There are people around you that are optimistic in your circle, just like you. And you keeping them close by. You keeping your how? How does that saying go? Keep your friends, your enemies close, and your friends. Wait, I don't know how the saying go, y'all. I already, I forgot. Keep your enemies, keep your keep your enemies closer, and your friends close. But keep your enemies closer, something like that. But anyway. This person here, you keep it in your circle because they're they're great. So this this is not an enemy. This one here, you're keeping them very close. So this this person in your camp is very good. Now this person here is a Sagittarius Leo or Aries. And they optimistic just like you are. And you know, like whenever you ready to move, they ready to move with you. Whenever you ready to bounce, they ready to bounce with you. So they're like, Yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Hey, how you think about it? What you think about that? Yeah, we can do that. I think we should do this. So this is very good. This is a um, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Okay, and they're very optimistic as yourself. Okay. Number nine. Okay, and speaking of um. Uh, Stop and take time. What's going on around you is telling you you stop to take time to see what's going on. Somebody is not giving you no space and room. Okay, he's like, in the, and they press up against your body. You know, they're like, you know, they like pressing up against your body. So somebody around you is just like, you know, it's like. People, yeah, people influence in the situation. It could be friends or family, friends, friends or family. I don't know who this is, but um, they pressing up on you. They pressing up on you a little bit too much, and you don't like that. You don't like that. You don't like that. They need to give you some space, and you want you want you want some space from them. These are friends or family. This is somebody, either a friend or family. I don't know who this person is. It's a friend or family. They like influencing the situation, but uh, you need some space. They not no. They not no. They not no good. Whoever this person is. Okay. All right. Let's see what else. All right. Number ten. So at this time, the uh, Libra. You have some uh, jealousy issues, some struggle. You str you're struggling with jealousy issues. A lot of people are jealous around you. And you need to keep them far away as possible because you're struggling right now through jealous with jealousy because you are because you are moving up in a height. You are moving up so high that they just can't take it. You know, that's simple as I can put it. Simple as I can put it. You moving up so fast. You moving up, Libra. And and they just they just jealous. So right now you're going through a bit of a uh, people struggling with you. So that's what's going on on your outer world. That's that's it. All right. 
So that's what's going on the inside out of you. Okay, so let's see what the ancestors have to say for you, Libra. And I have some notes for y'all too. Okay. Okay. Apologize. I apologize, y'all. Okay. Um. <laughs> That's funny in the video, right? I apologize for the phone call. <laughs> okay. Y'all can see. Y'all can really tell I like Michael Jackson so much. You see that? <laughs> I got autograph and everything. I like Michael Jackson. Y'all can hear that. <laughs> Ain't that something? <laughs> Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on with you all, Libras. Let's see what the ancestors have to say. I apologize for that. Okay, they have to say, ignite your passions. Ignite your passions, Libra. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep it ignited. Good for you, and society will back you up. Harness your mist. Harness. Harness your mist mystic powers okay and i pulled two at the same time so let's see what the other one says love and let yourself be loved of course i'm sure it will you're a great teacher and you learn from spiritual experiences so you learn from the life you learn from the life so by you learning from the life the world will stick you up i mean the world will stick by you the world will stick by you. So that's what I have for you, Libra. So let me see what, um, one last one. Let's see what, um, I have some notes too, just in case. Let's see what numbers we have for you all. Let's see what numbers we get for you all, Libras. What numbers do we have for Libras? <laughs> I closed my eyes. Y'all see what it said? You are doing good. You are concentrating on your mind, body, and spirit. You're getting it all right. You leveling up. You are leveling up. You are going higher. And nobody can stop you. And also, I want to say this. Because I, has, I has, want to make sure I let you all know this, Libra. Now, it's eight signs. Eight signs with the solar eclipse. That's really in a good spot. So, we have Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, and Gemini. Now, Gemini is half in solar eclipse, but they're still good. So, I just want to make sure. So, you're in a sweet spot, Libra, for the next six months. But also, let me let you know this too. Also, Libra. With this Sagittarius energy we have right now. Let me see. Okay, that's not the one. Maybe I put. I thought I put the book bookmark in it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, Libra. Whatever, whatever had happened for you earlier this year, whatever had happened for you earlier this year, it was an imbalance. So again, it may happen for a little bit because it, it had happened for a little bit. But you don't have to worry about it because uh, society will, society going to bag you up no matter what. Okay? And one more. Something about um, the rest of this month. We can see as the month goes, but next week is next week. So let me get that one I'm looking for. Okay. Saturn and Uranus. So for you for the holidays, Uranus... Saturn and Uranus, you have the discipline and the water, and you are air. So I want you to be assertive, but not too assertive, okay? That's what I want to make sure you know. Assertive, but not too assertive, all right? That's what I want to make sure, because today is like the... 
17th. So it's from the 15th and the 25th. So I just want to let you know why I'm doing in the same, you know, same video, same time. From the 15th, 25th, be assertive, but not that assertive, okay? So you won't have no difficulties because because there's somebody around you that's jealous. The, uh, people going on around you right now. So Uranus and, and Saturn. So I want you all to make sure of that. That's what I have for you. I hope it helps. Till next time. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, too, buddy. And thank you to all my subscribers. Till next time. Bonjour. I mean, adios. I'll be the same. Au revoir. Arrivederci.